Hey everyone, today I'm going to run through how to set up and program your X-Core Hunter sprinkler irrigation system. So my control system is brand new, so the first thing we'll do is just go ahead and set the date and time. All you have to do is flip your switch to date and time, and it'll start off with the year. Uh, to change the year, you just use the plus or minus buttons here. Once you have it on the current year, you'll push the right arrow to move um, to the month. So now we have our month and day. So we'll change this one all the way to June. And again, hit the uh, forward arrow to move to your day. And we are on the 10th of June. And finally, your time, we'll do the same thing here. You've got AM or PM. So I'm already in PM. Uh, if you need to change this, you just once again use the uh, plus and minus. You can go to 24 hour AM, PM. So I'll keep it in PM and move to the next one. And now I'll get to change my hour. So I'll go down to five o'clock. And it's currently 545. So I'll go down to 45 and then hit the arrow. So once you get back to the year, um, you've gone through everything and you'll just flip this back over to run. And now you've successfully set your clock. Next up is to program our start times. So go ahead and turn your knob to start times. And the options you're gonna see here are a couple, right? So you have one, you have three different uh, programs you can set up, an A program, a B program, and a C program. So as you can see here, we're on the A program. And then you also have multiple start times you can do. You can see here, we're gonna be on the first start time right now. So what that means is I can set my system to go off at a certain time. It'll run through all the zones that I've got set to go. And then I can set an additional start time if you want it to be you know, an hour later, or uh, if you wanna do like your first start time in the morning and second start time in the evening, you can do that as well. So we'll go ahead and set our initial start time. I want mine to be 4.30 in the morning, so I'll use my plus um, buttons to move forward to that because you can see it goes in 15 minute increments. If you ever need to turn a start time back off, um, you just need to go find in between 12 and 11.45, you can turn it back off. So I'll move mine forward to 4.30. And once you have that set, you'll push your uh, forward arrow again, and then it'll move uh, to give you an option for a second start time. I'll go ahead and set my second start time now. Uh, it takes about 30 minutes uh, for me to cycle through my zones. So I'll set this one 30 minutes afterwards at 5 a.m. And there you go. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to do a third start time. So once I've got this um, where I want it, you'll hit this program button to move forward if you want to set a different program. So this is just like if you, if you want to have multiple uh, programs saved in here. I only need the one, so um, I'll just go back to the front to A. And now that I've got my two start times um, set the way I want them, I flip my knob back to run. All right, next up, we need to set our zone run time. So uh, first thing you'll do is take your knob over to run times. And what you'll see on your screen here is uh, the number of your zone or station, and then also the letter of which program you're on. If you need to change which program you're setting zone times for, you just use the program button to cycle through A, B, or C. Uh, we're only doing with A, so I'll stay there. And then um, for to set our actual zone run times for zone one, I want to set mine at five minutes. And then I'll just use the forward arrow to move to the next zone. So now I'm on zone two, also five minutes. Zone three, I'll do at four minutes. Zone four at four minutes. Zone five at four minutes. And lastly, my zone six at five minutes. And uh, when, what you see here, after you cycle through your last zone, if you push forward again, this will give you the total runtime you just did. So 27 minutes is what you're gonna need to cycle through all six zones. Once you have that, uh, you just take your knob and put it back to run. Next up, we're gonna set what days we want to water on. So you turn your knob to water days. And you can see here a couple things, right? So you can see the A program that we're on. If you need to change that to B or C, you just once again hit the program button to cycle through. So back to A. So right now what it's showing you is the, um, the raindrop sign here for all seven days. So right now, if I left it like this, 
it would um, it would water my programmed um, run times and at the start times every single day. So to set these, you're just gonna use your plus and minus. If you hit the minus, it's going to not water on that day and move to the next day. If you need to go back and change something, you just use the arrow to go back until you're now you're blinking on Monday again. And you can hit the plus if you wanna water on that day. So for mine, I'm going to um, have mine water on Mondays. Let's go back. I'm gonna have, yep, I'm gonna have my water on Mondays, not on Tuesday, not on Wednesday, yes on Thursday, not on Friday, and yes on Saturday, and then not on Sunday. So that gives you um, a weekly setup of watering on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Another option you have is to have your water days on odd or even days. So to get that option, you're just gonna arrow over all the way past Sunday, and it'll show you odd uh, by default, and you can use the plus minus to switch between even or odd days. And the last option you have for water days is actually an interval program. So if you arrow over past your days again, past your even odd, you'll come to this interval um, screen. So your, your number that's blinking here is your interval. So like if you wanted to um, water every two days or every three days, you can set it like that. And then if you arrow over again, you also have the option to go through your days here and say like you want it to go every three days, but I never want it to go on a Saturday you would just hit your minus button on that Saturday to show that you're not going to um, uh, water on Saturdays. So I've got mine back to how I originally wanted it, which was to water on Mon Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And once I've got it set up how I want it, and I've done it for all my programs that I want, I once again just take my knob and turn it back to run. The next option we'll go over is the seasonal adjust. So to set this, you just turn your knob to seasonal adjust. And you can see by default, we're at 100%. So basically this option just lets you change all the run times by a certain percentage based on um, whatever conditions you want. So in like example would be, we get to summertime, you want to water more, but you don't wanna go through and have to change all your run times up um, individually. You can just go to the season it'll adjust and go up to 130%. And now your run times will be increased um, to 130% of what they're set on in the program. Another option that the Hunter panel has is to manually run zones for a given time. To do that, all you have to do is move to the manual option on your knob. Um, you use the left and right to select what zone you want. So for me, I'll go with zone one and you can do your uh, time up and down. So I'll do just three minutes here. And then once you get that, you just turn it out back to the run and you'll see I've got a zone now going, uh, zone one for three minutes and it'll run manually for three minutes and turn back off. If you want to manually run through the entire program, all you're going to do is push your forward button for three seconds. And then let go and press program to show which program you're going to run. So for us is A and let go. And then another two seconds, the entire program will begin. So you can see it's starting on zone one for five minutes. If you do want to, um, move on to, to new zones in the program, you can just push the forward button and it'll move to the second zone automatically. And so on, so I'll go to the fourth zone and I'll just let it run from there and run out till it's done. So of course you always have the option to turn your system off by moving it to the system off on your knob. Um, you also have the option to turn it off for a set number of days and then um, have it come back on automatically. So while you're in this off system and the off has stopped blinking, if you just push your plus and minus, you can say, okay, I want it to, be, I know it's going to rain for the next three days or four days. So I want to stay off for those days and then I'll go back to run and you'll see here, it, it shows it as still off, right? And this will update. So tomorrow it would show as off three and then off two until it's ready to uh, turn back on and run as programmed. If you want to reset this to take it off, you just go back to your system off, wait till it stops blinking, and then cycle back on to run, and now you've got it back on again. If you have a rain sensor, you can uh, activate it by pushing this down to active, and then bypass it by pushing it up. If you ever need to reset your entire system, 
what you're gonna have to do is hold these three buttons at the same time. So the minus, the forward, and the program. You're gonna press them all in and hold them. And as you're holding them, you're gonna come in here with a small pointed objects and uh, press the button that's inside this hole, the reset button. Um, once you press that button and let go, you should wait until you see the words done appear on your screen here. And once you see those words done, you can then let go of the um, pressing down these three buttons. That'll reset your entire system and uh, the clock will be reset back to 12 a.m. and all the memory and programs will have been cleared and uh, you'll have to start over again. So that's it for how to control the Hunter X-Core control system. Uh, if that helped you out, let me know below. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next project.